Countdown Dead Podcast. It's your neighborhood middleman, Slim Key. <laughs> you had that joint waiting for? Like, what was that? What is that? I, I swear to God. What, what is that? You had that joint? What? what? That bitch said, hello. <laughs> you had that joint waiting? I'm glad we got that joint. Man. I wasn't trying to do that shit. I dad was fucking with Whatever, phone. man. I got <laughs> Devin HB here with me, and I got my yeah. boy Jay Leno. What's going on, my doves? How was y'all weekend? Cool man, same old. It was good, man. Why you had that? Why did you? What was that? She just, you know, she just what? She just hella out in a random jump. Not putting my charge up. For real? That's like the new update. (laughs) Bitch, you a lie. That's time. Yeah, give it a minute. He called me with that bitch in the car one day. Hello. Oh, called Alex the other day too, bro. I'm I'm gonna have to do something. I'm it's, it's in the shortcuts. It's in the shortcuts. I'm gonna have to do something. I'm gonna have to go Crazy figure too. out me a little jump. That's hard. I fuck with that. But yeah, man, how was y'all? I see how your weekend was. <laughs> <laughs> see what you was working on this weekend. What about you, Dev? What's going on, man? It was cool, man. You know, you good? Yeah, man. Can't complain. Can't complain. Nothing to complain about. Nah, I'm mm-hmm. weak. Hey, Twenty One Savage dropped that new new tape. Y'all fucking with it? Mm-hmm. Oh, before before we get into that, my bad, my bad. He just got a new ashtray. Oh yeah, I seen that, that shit. That. Yeah, that joint. Oh, was for show and tell. Yeah. See, you gotta dump this joint. Hold yeah. on, get your get, get this shit. Black butts. I'm about to dump that joint now. That's what they say. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, let me read that joint. Yeah, you can read. Doctor Kush. <laughs> Alright, the joint. Oh, oh, for real, it's just like a little prescription joint. Yeah. Uh, it says smoke product is needed or until mood lightens, may cause increased appetite. Hundred percent natural cannabis. Expires once friends arrive. <laughs> hey, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Ten blickums. Ten blickums. <laughs> the fuck is that? Did you I fuck with that. Spence, Tell shout out to Spencer. That's, That's what you got from. Hey, Jinx, nigga, you owe me a soda. Oh, soda. shit. It's <laughs> my soda, <laughs> nigga. Right there. Yeah, roll it's on, my nigga. soda, nigga. Is ginger ale a soda? Yeah, nigga. Yeah. It ain't. What you go to? Medicine? Hey, it's useful. It's useful. Right. Medicine. If it is, I figured it was a soda. Nigga. It's useful. It's medicine. Se- Seagram's ginger ale ain't is a soda. Ain't it used as medicine? N- nigga, that's roots. That's like natural root ginger ale. Come on, bro. That shit part of home remedy, bro. No, not yeah. Seagram's <laughs> ginger ale, nigga. That oh, shit. Canada Dry, bro. Not Canada Dry. What Canada that's a soda. Dry? You, that's a soda still too, I think. That's, I'm, that's, well, I'm, that's, a, that's, that's more medicine than Seagram's. It's all soda. Fuck you talking about? Medicine you got soda. sugar and whatever the other shit is that make it bubble up. Man, and shake it. I, look, I, we did on the on the twenty one. Apparently, he, he dropped that new tape with him and uh. Fire. Uh, it ain't fire. Fuck it with him and Metro Boom. It's not as fire as the last one, but it's it ain't good it, enough to listen to. It ain't as fire as uh yeah. You feel me? It's good jump. enough to rock to though for a little bit, but I ain't gonna say that ain't better than the last. How one. many? How many tracks? You it's could like, still say the jump was hard though. How many tracks? Are there? Yeah. Like, like yeah. it could have been harder. It's a uh, fifteen. 15. Forty four minutes long. I'll say out of them fifteen tracks, it's probably about five tracks I go back to and listen like every time. But other than that, bro, I don't I don't really fuck with the I don't fuck with snitches and rat. I fuck with the snitches and rat interlude. The interlude snitches hard. Oh the, yeah, yeah. You talking about uh, Mor- bro, hey, Morgan Freeman on there? Morgan Freeman. The killed, difference between if the snitch anything, and the rat. He killed every part he had, bro. I'm yeah. talking about bro. That I ain't gonna lie. That was like the highlight of the tape. Yeah. He had Morgan Freeman go ahead and talk his shit on there, bro. It was that joke was great, bro. Did you heard? Yeah, yeah, I was like, bro, that shit was hard, bro. I was like, bro, this some, this some shit I would like to do, like get like a, bro, cause it's like it's different when like you, you fuck with the actors, actors on the skits. Yeah, I was just about to say like, bro, it's different when like you got who are right, who would you get for yours? Like if you if you could do like a a a, a different like a like a uh, what's the junk the like a deluxe fia junk. I, I I need Jamie Foxx, but I need him to hit the uh the uh the um damn why I can't think of it. My mind just went blank. I need him to hit the radio. I need him to do that joint on there. Like yeah, baby, when you see me, see, see, come be some cool shit with me, and I take you back to the room, and I lay you down real smooth. Like I need him to come on that joint. I need I need Jamie Foxx to hit that joint for me, bro. Uh, but if not Jamie Foxx, then um probably Cat Williams. Mm. Yeah, that 
that'd be hard too. Yeah, yeah. That'd be it's hard. a lot of niggas you you can. Nigga, it's a lot of go wrong with it's it, a lot man. of niggas it's a lot of niggas you can definitely like going Mike Epps Mike Epps that'd be, be hard that nigga funny 35 but as, like like I was saying I I just think it's different from like when the, the movie stars get on and like the comedians and shit like that get on your track cause they voice just like the influence of their voice mm-hmm. just it hit a different lane and it just take your jump from being like from a an album. Like, from an it, album to like a movie, yeah. like it just, like, it just, nigga just turned that John up. Yeah, it switched lanes. Yeah, it definitely get that John a different presence. So yeah, I definitely yeah. fuck with the Morgan Freeman uh, skits all the way through. Um, but I don't fuck with Snitches or Rats. I don't really fuck with the song. I don't fuck with the John with Drake. I don't fuck with that John. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't fuck with that too. I don't fuck with the the, the other love John. I can't. John with Drake was cool. Uh, I don't fuck with the intro like that. I don't fuck with I running fuck with like that. Running okay. I don't fuck with the the uh, course. Like it get tiring after a while. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really, I don't really fuck with running. Running, like that. running. But um, yeah. where you running to, nigga? But I, 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 my my favorite track right now is brand new Draco and um, that John Hart. Brand new Draco uh and uh what's the other John? I like sliding too. That John Hart. Sliding and my down. dog, my dog tough. That John crazy. I mean, I he, 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 look, he definitely made a made a bounce back from that UK shit, man. Yeah, so I, I give him that. It's like he definitely bounced back from that UK shit. He <laughs> said, like, I fuck with that Mini Man Jane too. I, it was I it was okay. Jane. It was okay. It was okay. I ain't really fool with the Mini Man Jane. <laughs> she said you don't fuck with shit anyway. <laughs> Hey, they said uh, that album on pace to do 200,000 first week. Sheesh. That's all right. That's crazy. She said many. Yeah, no, my dog, my dog crazy. But you said the uh, album on what? 200K first week. Bro. Oh, projected. projected. Bro. That's. 200,000. That's crazy. Yeah, so I mean, if, if you don't know how like streams work, do 200,000 times like 10. <laughs> So just uh, just do that and nah that that's definitely that's a nice little bag. Hey, that's like two two mil, man. Right? Yeah, easy. How much you think he made? The, how much production? How much you made pay for production as far as the album you think? So if Metro his, booming. Yeah, his nigga. So if he came <laughs> out, you feel me? His nigga. Oh uh, shit. If he making two two he mil, how much you got to come out of pocket with? I'm, I'm gonna tell you, he got that joint for a good price, but uh. He got that joint for a, a no, no. Price. I'm not saying I know the price good. How much together did he put everything? Cause you got the videos too. Them videos is how much, crazy. Oh, like how much do you think like came out of? You like, got pay Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman old ass on that bill. You got pay him. How much you think he came out of pocket with? So what's his like? But he he probably spent about a good a good cool like a meal. Nah, I ain't gonna say that. Ain't much. Touch a meal? Nah, probably about six hundred, about six hundred k. That's not bad. No, nah, it ain't bad. I mean, I, I feel like the Morgan Freeman joint, I feel like that joint gonna cost. That joint probably about a, a good 100, tax him like that. 150. Niggas, I'm, probably, I'm, niggas probably won't tax him for the features. I'm not gonna say niggas was yeah, taxing. Because he got nudie on there. That's his cousin. I'm not gonna say niggas was taxing, but he definitely he definitely got in the bag paying for features and shit. He definitely got in the bag. Because that Drake feature probably cost money. Big time. You don't know. I mean, bro, niggas we, be having sort of like relations, relationships I, with these. You know what no, I'm I feel that, but we just, we just going off assumption, like we just assuming yeah. that he paid for. We not just, going off. You the, minus the friendship. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Minus exactly. the friendship shit. I, I look. I know he got shit at a at a he, good price. Yeah, we know he. he I know he got shit, the deal. But we just saying. I know he the got finesse. the deals, but what I'm just saying. Without the finesse, it, what you speculate the most he paid for that that tape. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say about six, like six hundred, seven hundred. Yeah, features, production, uh, videos, everything. Morgan Freeman. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say about six, seven hundred, bro. I, I'm, I'm gonna lie, the most he probably paid. He only got three features. That's what I'm saying. It's like well, four. N- nudie. Yeah, Morgan Freeman. You got Drake, Young Thug, Morgan Freeman, Young Nudie. Hey, he probably hey. got the thug on the low too. Cause and and the for ATL. real. 
I feel like Drake him and, ain't pay that much out of feature. And and to be honest, I think that two hundred K is gonna be like split between him and uh, you feel me? That two mil. Like as far as like split sheets, that's and I, Metro. Yeah, I think that's gonna get split between him and Metro. So the two mil get split, fifty fifty. Uh, yeah. I think that joint. Yeah, that's hard though. I think the sales from that's yeah, just the sales first week. Least. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. First I ain't week, saying yeah. like it's an issue or nothing. What, what, you, what you think about Tory Lanez? If you think about that's oh, equal. If you think about that's equal. He yeah. did. He, he, he did he have. Produced. He did have. Yeah. yeah. I ain't mad at it. You feel me? The next topic. What's up? Uh, yeah, man. I just want to uh, just just to highlight like the brotherhood and TSF, man. Like, I love man, it, they, bro. bro. They really be buying each other cars and chains, bro. Like like it ain't nothing, like. Bro. That's the goal. Bro. Oh yeah, but I would I would love to buy my nigga some cars and chains and uh, my family some cars and chains. Yeah, yeah. my shawty some some cars and chains. You feel me? Like I'm trying, bags. I'm trying to bags. You feel? Me? I'm trying to I'm trying to put I'm trying to put people on like that shit hard. Like so, I, that's all I wanted to highlight. I was it was it was the uh, Sosa man had bought like somebody a, a TSF chain and I was just like, damn, you brought somebody else a chain. Yeah, no, he just, just like, dropped the bag on uh, what, sauce. The, uh, the, the, on sauce the, the yellow gold joint with the red. Mm-hmm. That's sauce jam. He brought. That's for sauce. Sheesh. He brought that for sauce. Yeah, bro. They, yeah, they, they, they doing just, it right. Just buying the same chain, just customizing it. They doing it right, bro. They doing it right. That's how you brand. You got some shit at TSF chain. That's how you brand. Oh, bro, shit. they all That's got their own way. colors. You wear them bitches in different outfits. He gave every nigga their own colorway. Think about that. So you got your own diamond colorway you rock. And that's just yours. Can't nobody else get that combination. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. Shout out to sauce, man. Next up. Yeah, yeah. He won the next job. Versace VP, uh, uh, Ben Burry of Sneakers and Men's Footwear has harassed, was harassed, my fault, in Beverly Hills by the cops. Oh, you talking about the black dude with Sal- that bag? Salehi. I think that's how you say his name. Salehi Ben Burry. I ain't even want to try his first name. I just I, know I, Ben Burry. I don't know. If, I might be Sorry, murdering bro. her name. You feel me? But I think that's how you say it. Salehi Ben Burry. Bro, y'all seen that video? Yeah, bro. Y- yeah, bro. Bro, it's... Bro you, bro, you can't be black nowhere, bro. We already knew that, though. Yeah, we already know that, bro, but this is just another I just, another example. This is just another example, bro. It's, you you see, he is the fucking vice president. See, that's what I think. The only difference is that happening is now that the, the wealthy black people are finally seeing. Whereas, you remember, we all used to be at the bottom, so you feel me? We just figured that was it. Your grandparents ain't tell you nothing because... That was just what happened in that time. Some shit, some shit happened with Davies too on the airplane. Yeah, 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 I already knew that. And and to be honest, I don't want to say celebrities experienced it more than people at the bottom or your. Oh no, every, I don't think that's what he said. Though. Your every no, 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 no. I said I don't want to say that. Oh. I don't want to say that, but I do think they experience it at a high volume because they're in exclusive places. And I don't think so. in the limelight. You feel me? And then the, you feel me? Like, I, I just think they don't get me wrong. I think we deal with it on the everyday level. I yeah, feel like, cause, cause like what you're saying is like, it's harder to they see have it people calling now. them out, you know what I'm saying, outside of their name more often than we do. But as far as like day to day, they don't have it. Like, in person, person type of interactions, they don't see that. See, I don't, see, I can't say that because I'm, you feel me? I can't say that because I know me as a, a regular person. I'm not gonna say I experienced day to day racism, but I have experienced it and I do know what it looked like. You feel me? So I I I know they do. You feel me? I know they do. I know they experience it all the time. You feel me? So why is so like why is it just why they act like it's just But don't don't get me wrong, at the same time, while they experience it, I think they are also in rooms with white people that make them feel comfortable. You feel me? So they they they're sheltered by their profession. That's what I'm saying. That's why they don't experience it like that. Cause they they're looked at but not it, as black people, but like as their profession. But that's but don't get me wrong. You're sheltered. You you sheltered by your profession, but you also in these exclusive places, and not everybody know. Not everybody know. You feel me? He like yeah he the, yes yes he's the black. Yes, I mean, yes, he's the vice president of, you feel me, of Versace. Because what I'm Sneaker using, for with, example, what I'm going off is, remember Dez Bryant? Remember how he was? Th- he used to say all that crap, like, uh, like um, what's some shit he said? He said some shit like, 
I don't see uh, I don't see color or something like that. I'm just, just you know what I'm saying. Don't give me, bro. And you... then once they once they turned their back on him, that's when he tried to come come back to the black community. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? you got, bro. You got people that's arrogant like that, but I also feel like you got people that regular that be acting like that sometimes. You feel me? And you just be like, huh? Like, yeah, it's, it's always, so 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 that's right. what I'm saying. I'm just saying this on both sides. That's all I'm saying. It's I and now that we and I'm pretty sure this is not his first time experiencing like like some some wild shit. But I'm gonna say this is probably the first time where it was blatant. You feel me? Like where it was like right in his face, knocking at your door. You might have seen it ride past your house, but no, nah, now it's it's in your front yard. It's at your door now. You feel me? That's all I'm saying. That's that's all I'm saying. And and for real, I mean, look, jaywalking, I don't know, man. And like he said, bro, he was like, bro, I'm from New York. Like, yeah, that's what we do. He was like, bro, that don't don't even matter to me. And 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 that's all I'm saying. I'm like, his, shit really don't. All I'm matter, saying bro. is, all I'm saying is, bro, him being who he is allowed him to be in Beverly Hills and allow him to be in that type of position. I'm pretty sure if one of us pop up in Beverly Hills. Look at how we look right now. Is we gonna we gonna that junk gonna we gonna get a, a whole nother type of feeling. <laughs> we we not we don't even have to jaywalk. <laughs> you feel me? We ain't gonna have to jaywalk for them to come check us. But uh, go ahead, do your thing. Right on, Chief. Go ahead, do your thing, partner. Hey man, we appreciate everybody tapping into the live. I don't think nobody really. Okay, we don't we don't even gotta talk about it. <laughs> we don't we ain't even gotta talk about it. What? I don't think nobody on the Facebook. Joke. But niggas be liking the page all the time. I do. Hold on, but before we get to the next subject, you can stay doing this. No, no, no my, <laughs> I can't say this before. My I bad, <laughs> my bad. I, I would just, I ain't, I ain't know if I was, you know, I would just, I would just resetting. You feel so, me? I was in this just, so just tap me, be like, give me one moment, let me get my thoughts together or something. You feel me? Or something? You feel me? Don't let I me was, start talking and then you come. Hold on, bro. Come I was, on, nigga. Bro, I was really. If I say that, if I do that to you every time, I swear to God, you gonna want to punch me. <laughs> I was just in the joint. I'm just telling you, man. You want to punch me? You gonna want to punch me? Is what I'm telling you. It's, it's gonna be that irritating. You can be like, bro, what? You can get mad. You might stop talking. Hold up, hold up. Nah, yeah, I mean, y'all ain't got nothing. Y'all ain't got nothing to say about that situation. Y'all ain't got nothing to say about that. I mean, nigga, I get pulled over for for tail lights and license plate lights and simple shit. So I already know how I feel. You feel me? It's common. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's common. We live in Virginia. It's yeah, it's the Commonwealth. I get. So I, I get it. You I feel me? It. They don't. I understand for people who don't live in a state like this, they might view it different. You feel me? Mm-hmm. They not like if you live in DC or something, you might not have that interaction because your state more. You know what I'm saying? Even if you, I mean, uh, diverse, even even, but, even him, he said he's he from New York. You feel me? He, which is a diverse state. Which yeah, is not exactly what I mean. So it, you from like it's not that diverse here, bro. I mean, it's diverse, but it's sectioned off. You know what I'm saying? Beverly is not that diverse. But I mean, that's just why it happened. That's you feel me. But yeah, it's it's a that's a crazy situation. Yeah, it's crazy. Fuck you, BG. <laughs> yeah. But um, next up, H and M closed two hundred and fifty stores due to the pandemic. Uh, two hundred and fifty stores, right? It, bro, that sound about right, bro. I I think like I don't want to say Forever Twenty One gonna follow suit. Because I, I think Forever 21 bigger than H&M. Only because of that. Uh, yeah. I think Forever 21 bigger yeah. than H&M. Like, has a, like, it's a bigger brand. But I think H&M is, um, I don't know. It's, you feel me? Like, the, co- the clothes are already cheap. You feel me? How much, how, how long can you, can, can you do that? I want to add this topic, too. 
I'm good, good. The first yeah, uh, yeah. Cool, cool Kicks closed it down. They closed down the uh, Santa Marina. They jumped by the beach. They closed down their store. Yeah. Cool Kick? That's mm-hmm. the jank from here, right? They started from here. Oh, yeah. Talking? Yeah, they started from here, right? Yeah. And now they're uh, in Cali? Yeah. Uh, dang, bro. That's, um, yeah, you said, uh, ever since that, you know, the, uh, looting and shit. And remember, remember after the loot, remember the nigga ran into their store with Sheesh. the truck and shit. Nigga was, like, that. nigga was like, nigga was like, nigga was on the ground. Yeah, I seen that jump. Hey. Yeah. yeah, I know the person that recorded the job. <laughs> you got a Cali plug? So, goddamn, bro was like, uh. I seen that jump, so much posted it. He was like, yeah, and he was like. Everybody doing online shopping now, especially with the pandemic. He still got stores, though. He just closed that one down. Yeah. He said he's going to start using the app more. You know, so now, I, and that's, that you feel me? And, and that makes sense for a lot of stores to move in that direction. You feel me? I guess for the time being. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, man, a lot of things going to be done, like, by delivery and online. And uh, I think most. I feel like it's going to open back up, though. I, I feel like there's people like to try shit on, you know. Nobody want to keep on sending shit back if it don't fit. That's true, but I feel like the use of a mall was already slowing down. So now that this hit a lot of malls, but I feel like mall. I feel like probably because the stores. Yeah, that's that, that's too. But I feel like it's more because the stores at the mall, bro. But I'm gonna tell you this, bro. I went to the mall in L.A., bro. That joint was dead. For real? Yeah, we was in Robin, bro. We was the only two people in Robin in Robin James. That's crazy. Only we was like three people in G Star. You feel me? I mean, like I just feel like malls. I, I, I'm not you, everywhere. Do, do you feel like you feel? Cause I feel like that's a sense of laziness. Don't don't get me wrong. Don't cause get me. I would rather I, I I would rather drive to the mall and, and do that before paying online and pay for shipping and having to wait for it. If it's in the mall, nigga, I'm gonna take that little trip to the mall and get that shit. Now, if it's some shit that sold out, like some kicks or something, where you nah, can't go, I, like, I understand. I'm with you, bro. If it's in the mall, bro, I'm definitely like I'll go get it. Yeah, but we don't. And have as far it. as the mall being, I don't really care about seeing a whole bunch of people in the mall. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't really got like you're not gonna see a whole bunch of people in the mall. That's what, that's what I'm saying at all. That's sad. At all. It's, it's, right it's now, to the mall for enjoyment. Right now, but to get away. But how many? That's all. Like how many people was going to the mall before the pandemic? Not that many. Cause we ain't got no malls though for real. Yeah, here. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm. Yeah, I'm, niggas. Just short pump yeah, was. You gotta think about. Don't that get me wrong. Know. Yeah, I'm exclusively it, talking about here, but it's only a certain. It's only like a couple malls niggas go to. I might, I might have Nah, there's some other states with some lit ass mall. Live video. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. Like, even uh, Arlington, Virginia, they got a, a crazy ass mall. You talking about Tyson Corner? Shit, we, we gonna I have think that might be. That bitch got like three or four floors. That shit crazy. Yeah, niggas from DC go there. Mm hmm. Yeah, I already know. Alright, next up, I'm ready to skip to this, Jake. Black Channel walks out on New Jumper interviews. <laughs> I ain't get to watch that, but I, I want to hear y'all talk about I this, because. I seen the video I kinda you see up there, it though. I and I wanted it. to look at it, but then I was like, I watched that. I didn't have no time. Bro, only, she walked out at the end. It was only eighteen oh. minutes. <laughs> the video only eighteen minutes. Hey, she, she no, walked I, out. I thought that joke was thirty minutes. No, she walked out. But she, so what he oh, said no, to make her walk out. He was asking her questions. <laughs> hey, bro, <laughs> you think he was being this, an asshole? No, bro. This my thing, bro. One, he kept he reiterated to her a million times just what the fans want to hear. I don't know how many times he he said that, but yeah. If she ain't, if, like if she don't want to cater to the fans, I don't know who she gonna cater to. You feel me? What you up there? No bad. You feel me? Like you you say you're a rapper, you say you want to be a rapper. Well, cater to your fan base. If your fan base want to know about your past relationships, then you know what you go up there and you do. That's talk about you your past. Talk about. Yeah, that's something you gonna have to talk about. It's, and this this is my thing, especially when you made a name of day niggas. You made your name from day niggas. What you expect? Every interview you gonna do, niggas gonna wanna know about the last nigga, the last yeah. three niggas, the last two. You date nothing but famous niggas, like. And they all in newspapers. Bruh. I said what? newspaper. Bruh. Newspaper. You dated Rob Kardashian. You dated Tiger. You dated YBN. You, you were saying Kid Boo or some shit. Did she get uh, future name titles? You, bruh, you, you do. You do. 
unexplained. You 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 make unexplainable jumps from. What the fuck is nigga? I want to wanna know what is nigga supposed to ask her. <laughs> and, and she she wanted to talk. <laughs> don't get me wrong. She was there to talk about her music. I I get it. You go there. You you here to talk about your music. Sorry, Black China. Nobody's interested. You gotta you gotta. What music? Mm -hmm. That's what I I'm saying. Know. Like you gotta put that out. Like and you can't go trying to build up the music. And then go and talk about it, your family to build it up, and then put it out. Cause niggas don't want to hear that. Like, like I think you better put it out, and then if niggas fuck with it, you feel me? Then you might be able to go do it. If they don't, keep on doing the music thing until niggas fuck with it, and then you got the moment to, you know, what I'm saying to make your leap. She said she was making songs with uh like Trippy Red, um, who else? Not me. You like the hit Trippy Red, uh, Six Nine. She was just making songs with like. People like that, so you see what kind of like what yeah, class what, what she was. Lane, yeah, what lane. she said, but she said she got a lot of songs with a lot of different people. But my thing is, bro, you how you gonna walk out the walk out on the interview? You feel me? And it's like, bro, you you supposed to be up there to promote yourself, promote your brand, bro. If I'm sorry, bro, you dating niggas is part of your brand, and that's just it is what it is. That's it is what it that's is. how I always seen, bro. I always seen her as just a shawty that just be jumping from nigga to nigga. Yeah, oh, so it's I like it's like no, bro, no rapper, no actor, no. You can't be Cardi B. You can't do that, bro. I don't even know if she want to be Cardi I B. I think that's what I was gonna say that's that's what I think she's trying to be. But it's just from like, a stripper to an actor. From a rapper. no, no, I get Cardi it, bro. B ain't hot man to man. Though. I get it, bro. Nah, she didn't. She was in, she was low key. She wasn't fucking with famous niggas until I said. Bruh, that's the only thing with you. You can't do that, bruh. I don't know, bruh. You can't do that. Shawty's, Shawty's say crazy stuff all the time. But that's what it is. Hey, man. The next topic. Um, Y'all ain't got nothing to say about that? You got to watch the interview, bruh. I want to watch it. You that shit's hilarious. Bro, that shit's gonna, probably hilarious. She, she, gonna watch it after she walked out on the Soldier Boy question. He, I, hey, I'm watching that after this. And you know what's, you know what's crazy? He said, would you make a song with Soldier Boy? And she was like... You, she was yeah, like, she was like, you, you know what? She was like, you know what? I'm about to be out. <laughs> yeah, she was like, you know what? I'm done. Hey, he was like, what you, what, what you done with what? You don't want like the social work question? Like, nah, I'm, I'm done with the interview. Like, I'm about to be out. I mean, <laughs> do I think he was an asshole? Sure, bro. I mean, but yeah, he doing me, job. I mean, yeah, he doing what he, what he, he do. You, you That's, knew what you, you knew what he did before you, you signed, agreed to come on the you show. You on brush show? Yeah. What you expect? Be on Bro Show then. Like, you feel me? Like, you, you. Come on now. It was. I ain't like it. Be like it was that. Uh, next up, Tory Lane spotted in the club. Is his career Black over? Casanova. No. His career is not over. Bro, sad. Unfortunately. I ain't gonna say unfortunately. Because I. Me it's personally. His career over. I ain't wishing harm on nobody. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't against Tory Lane's, but. I ain't with Tory now either. You feel me? Did, I don't no. fuck with what he did either. But yeah, I, I mean, know what he did. And and like I said, bro, I'm not a fan, so I don't. I don't know. Let's take it so music. long for the for this proof to come out. I feel like they just letting this shit die down now. Oh. Meg doing her thing. I know she see broke music videos, and I know she Only heard. Tell for real. That's what I'm saying, bro. Um, what was I saying? What was he talking about? Tory Lanez in the club. Oh yeah, yeah. Shout out no. to the short niggas. Troy ain't no, no, no. Yeah, I mean, I guess. But, um, I ain't gonna say his career over, though. It's definitely not over. His career not over, but... His fan base too strong at this point. Yeah, bro. We, we got some, some niggas wilding for him, so... I don't... Bro, why, why niggas going so hard for, for a nigga, though? Or, or is they going hard because they're trying to prove a point? I don't know, honestly. I have no idea. I wish I could tell you. I can't play like it. Niggas is going off the tour lane. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't get it. I don't understand. He's not seen, even American. Y'all seen that little video he shot in them people in that joint? That nah. joint look trash. I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> I don't know Everybody in that know. video look wack as a bitch. Who at the uh, most? No, nah, he was like, he had the, he had the, uh, the V long. What's, what's the joint that say fiends? Yeah, fiends. Bro. It say fiends. It say fiends. With the F? Yeah. It definitely say friends. Y'all niggas is tripping. V long? Yes, it definitely say friends. It say friends on the jack on that jack. Yes, but yeah, yeah, you see all these people in the drum. The drum, they look lame as a bitch. Like he found some niggas in the street and tried to be in a music video. I give you a hundred dollars. 
Yeah, I give you a hundred dollars to be in this music video. Who, who grandma is that in there with that green? Yeah, I, yeah, I know this project only sold like thirty-seven k. Is that uh? Count up. Yo, what's up, G? Is that more or less than what you call it? More than less than what? You know, two hundred thousand, twenty-one savage. No, no, six, six nine. Uh, no, I think six nine did less. Less. Yeah, like twenty something on it. Yeah. Oh, I. Six nine did less. As long as you do better than that, you good with me. <laughs> no cap. American Murder the Family Day Oh uh, man, y'all. I uh, fuck with it. You, I, you you seen it? Hold on, you said what? No, 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 no. I'm talking about Whatever. American Nightmare. I mean, American. Is it American Horror Story? American, American Horror Story? Story? American, American Murder. Murder. American Murder. American Murder. Oh. Okay, don't know yeah, what that it, is. It's American yeah, Murder. Uh, it's like a documentary series. I'm, I think it's a series on Netflix. Docu-series? Yeah, I think it's a series on Netflix. And they just put out this uh, this new joint. And it was just like the family next door. And it's just about... I can't remember the dude. I think his name... Oh, that's the shit you was talking about on the book. Yeah, that's the shit uh, I was talking about. I don't know. Yeah, I'm like, bro, I, check that joint. I, I can't remember his name. And I can't remember her name. Her name was like... Shannon or Shannon or some shit like that. <laughs> bro, they were saying it weird. Shannon. Bro, they were saying it weird because it, it, when I see it, it read Shannon. You know, I'm a, I like to read. You know, mm -hmm. I, I read that bit. I like that. Shannon. Shannon. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, but they were saying like Shannon. And I was like, what? And they, bro, they so yeah, it was no, it was one end? It was two ends. And they were saying Shannon. You mean it was three ends? All together. Three ends. Three was, ends. Yeah, all together. But. Shin. Yeah, they. I don't know, bro. That joint. That joint was throwing me off too, bro. Shin. But maybe they just. Maybe you could. You could have a. You could have a name and pronounce it a different way. Hey, that man Corey G. Yeah. Like, but um. There's a lot of names you can do. Like See, I don't know. Like, do y'all want? Y'all want me to tell y'all what happened, or do y'all just want to watch it? Tell me. Uh, I don't care. Cool. Nah, 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 I'm definitely gonna watch it. Get out of here, then. So, by the time you want me to speak I'm gonna going watch it. Don't matter. Right, don't change the story yeah, to me. Fuck, go ahead. I, I'm not gonna even get down to the like, cause I, to be honest, just I ain't go, watched the joke. I ain't watched it yet. I watched, I watched what I found on YouTube, but I watched the interrogation, and that joke was like 40 minutes long on YouTube. So is this based off a true story? Yeah, this really happened. So what 2018. Is, so what is it about? This dude Breaking. killed. He killed his wife and his two daughters. How? Method. Smoke. Strangle. Oh. And then, then he, reason. That's wild. The reason? Yeah, he was having an affair. I knew it had to be some personal. Cause look, what I learned is, murderers, if they if they like do like a stabbing or like a you know what I'm saying something where it's close on contact and they mm -hmm. murder you, they got like a grudge against you or something. Cause that take for you to get close contact and not care. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Whereas when you shoot somebody, that's you pulling the trigger and look and don't look back. You feel me? From a distance, you ain't gotta see that person again. Yeah. But when you and that shit happened that, instantly, you gotta bro. watch them take that left breath, that last yeah. breath and shit. Yeah, nah, nah, yeah, bro. He, Watching them, you hearing them. Yeah, you gotta have some person. Basically torturing. That's that. basically torture. Yeah, I, I watched like the first thirty minutes into the jump, and then I watched like the forty minute interrogation. But it's like it's like an hour and some change. Like, that shit, wow. Yeah, no, that joint, bro, that joint was definitely wild, bro. That joint was giving me goosebumps the whole time. And I knew, I knew, like, I knew, bro, did it. But the whole time I'm watching, I'm like, damn, bro, he really out this joint, like. Acting like nothing happened. Like, bro, they on his ass, bro. Like, he, and, like, you can see him cracking under pressure. You can see this nigga, like, acting different. Even the neighbors, like, oh, yeah, he acting different. They talking to the cops and shit. I was just like, damn. I was like, bro, hit. <laughs> hit? Dude. I was like, bro, hit, bro, and I don't want to play devil's advocate. Go ahead, bro. But we need it. Go ahead. But I go ahead, bro. We need it, bro. He just sat like it was so sloppy, bro. You feel me? You feel me? Like nigga said his work was done sloppy. Bro, just so left the body on the floor, bro. bro. He was just threw him in the garbage. His, his wife just got home from the airport, two a.m. in the morning. So and he left for work at five, like thirty in the morning. So he killed. He had to kill her in between. Between that time, two two a.m. and five thirty. Her friend dropped her off. So somebody know her. You, her no, last it, whereabouts was known. Man, you feel schedule. me? You feel me? And like so, bro. It was just real sloppy. So he ended up like I guess doing that. And then her friend like what gave it away. Her friend ended up like calling her the next day because 
apparently like his wife had like a whole like schedule of shit planned. She had a doctor's appointment. The kids had to go to school and some motion. You feel me? Like this, it was like a regular day and like shit had to get done. So he like he, I'm just saying, bro. He picked the the, the worst right. time to say, I right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then try to get away with it. So what his old what his, what his uh, mistress uh, thing of say do? Uh, I'm, I mean, I ain't really get to get yeah, get, in, get into that. You just watching. But I'm pretty sure she don't want to fuck with somebody that's gonna kill a family and just to move on. Like you feel me? Instead of breaking it off, you gonna kill your family. Yeah, it's crazy. Bro, I you wanna know where he buried like buried the bodies? Thank you. Mm -mm. He he worked at like he worked at different sites like a oil rig type. He was like one of them like niggas who like fill up like oil tanks. So he goes to like these in the tractor trailer. Not in a tractor trailer, I want to say, but I would say he goes and works on. Them. I say I, okay. he goes and fixes them. He, okay, he, like he works on all rig. Yeah, okay, he's like, man, yeah, you feel me? Sense. So he drives by himself to like off rig, like yeah. off site. Off, yeah. Shit, like you feel me? Like shit, like way Offshore out. Offshore and shit, like, like shit that can't, like shit that's miles and miles. Shit. Yeah, shit, yeah, exactly, like yeah. Re remote sites. Yeah. So he end up dropping like his wife off and his daughters off at like the first site he went to that morning. He buried her with a shovel he had in his like bag just for like I guess work. He buried her in the field and he put his, one of his daughters. He put both his daughters in the oil tanks, but in separate joints. He put one in one joint and the other daughter in the other tank. Crazy. What the oil the break down your body or something? See, I was thinking of it differently. I was thinking like, bruh, I was thinking like the oil would preserve. Because it, it was like a mixture of like water, oil and water. I was just thinking like some shit like that might preserve, like, might keep, like. I don't know, because when you throw bodies in the water, what happened? They shrivel up. They sh yeah, they shrivel up, but they don't like decay, like, you feel me? Nigga told you that, Lucky. Niggas at you tonight, boy. Who, who said that? He, bro, he is, he is on it. Yeah. He is wildin'. See, now I think he had that first joint set up, like, planned. <laughs> and niggas just got, niggas, hey, come in there and tell Key hell up, leave. Don't nigga, do that. Don't start no train. Nigga no. told Sharon to come in there and talk about his chain. Don't do that. I don't, I don't even you wear my chain no more. Nah, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I just ain't, I ain't worried tonight. That joint definitely crazy, bro. Like, niggas gotta check that joint out, like, for real. That shit sound wicked, bro. For real, bro. Nigga put him in an oil rig? <laughs> bruh, but I mean, and, and niggas be like, so why you kill your daughters? I mean, bruh, if you, he killed his wife in front of his daughters. You get oh, what I'm saying? You gotta do it then. You, you gotta, like, you gotta finish the job. Like, can't have no witnesses. Can't have no witnesses. That's rule number one. Can't have your daughter grow up knowing they dad killed them. Knowing they dad. And, and hold some, some and, animosity and they might come back and And you gotta realize, this dude was a narcissist. You feel me? So... He thought he himself. He only yeah. thought himself. You feel me? Yeah. Like he don't want to. He don't want. He don't want nothing to blow back on him. So you won't want your daughters to grow up hating you. You feel me? So. I I'm not saying I get why he killed his daughters, but I mean I understand like why he did all like why he did that like all three, and I was just like, damn, that's so like that's wild, like all four in the field, bro. Like shit, crazy. I mean, niggas, niggas to do anything for the pussy. To the uh, Count Dead segment. <laughs> so, I don't know about that. Uh, Donald Trump contracts COVID-19. Any thoughts? You think he got that shit? Ironic. You think he got it for real? I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't think so, bro. I think he just... You feel me? I don't know, bro. We doing the elections, bro. Start something, bro. Wait, hit us. Tell us what. What if... He's saying this... That... Tell everybody at some point he got the vaccine to get everybody else like, hell, the president got the vaccine. We can take it, you feel me? And then manipulate people with that because they is trying to push that vaccine out, you know what I'm saying, around election time. And I don't see, I hear a lot of people saying they not fucking with it, you feel me? And it's just ironic that this nigga catch it and his only way out might be that, that vaccine. Yeah, nah, that's if he got it for yeah, that's a yeah. that's a spinner, bro. For real, like. Um, but they said when he did that little, when he left the hospital and did that little, when, you know, when he was in the truck mm -hmm. driving around and shit. They said uh, his wife ain't go because 
they had corona, so she was quarantined and he was out. You know, putting people, putting them, not people with lives, but them niggas in a truck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right now, so man. it's like, I don't know if it's real, because. I don't know, but I just think it's a real, like, coincidence. Coincidence that this nigga. This nigga just having to get it now, like. You feel me? Yeah. He been walking around with no mask since the beginning. Nigga never been wearing the mask. Hey, how many people he said was around him? Over yeah. half, 500,000. Doing the middle 50, of the election. Crazy. Doing the middle of the debate. So 130,000 people. Right after the debate, nigga, reports the president has COVID-19. That's crazy. Yeah, man. I want to see how this is going to play out, though. This shit, like, you know what to compare this shit, like. But, <laughs> <laughs> What's the next job? <laughs> hey, bro, the Simpsons. I seen another Simpsons prediction. Bro, I don't yeah. think that's. Bro, you think he gonna die? Nah. Y'all yeah, think, think he gonna die? Nah. <laughs> bro, if he die, bro, the Simpsons is. Bro, that's, I don't know, bro. If he, he die, it, bro, he hey, arrest that nigga who making the Simpsons, <laughs> bro. <if> he, <laughs> and ask him, hey, where the fuck is he getting you know, this technology from? If he died, the nigga that made the Simpsons is, no, 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 is no, the no, nigga no. that's running the world. No, bro, bro. You, you know. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, you know the nigga that made the Simpsons don't do it no more, bro. I think he died. Well, they, know, conti- they continue either he, with what he either had. Either he died or he um stopped making it and somebody else like picked, like took over. Nah, they probably just doing nah, They probably just releasing what he had. Bro, he's the same guy who made Futurama. See, now nah, I'm going to have to look at that. Look, it up. he is the creator of the comic Life in Hell and the television series The Simpsons from 1989 to present. Futurama. 1989 to present. Futurama from 1999 to 2003 and 2008 to 2013. And disenchantment from 2018 to present. Nigga still alive, bro. He only 66. Hold on, bro. Give me a second. Bro, just right. pulls up the facts, huh? I just pulled up the car facts. Bro, give me a second. Let me see. Let me find something. Go ahead and get to the next, next job. Bro. Next job, I'll look for this. Shout out to you, Matt Groening. I know you're still alive out there doing your thing. Yeah. But, hey. I'll let your boy, you feel me? Because if this nigga die, I really want to know what you mean. Bro, just think about it. You've been right about almost every big, big life situation since nineteen, since the nineteen eighties. That's kind of scary. That's crazy, bro. Like, that's like saying you can see the future. Maybe it will get like that. You some just point. predict it. But I don't. Know. Y'all think the Earth gonna last that long to when it get when it get like that? Future I'm not on Earth. What if you drama? What if it is, but they just renamed it? They on different planets. We get into the sports. Jimmy Butler leads the Miami Heat to their first win over the Lakers. He was balling. Shout out to my boy Jimmy B. I have to find that information later. I might have to get a bucket and put your name on the set. I just thought it was Tyler Hero. Hmm? No, no, that's Baby Goat. I thought he was a bucket. No, no, he's a bucket. He's a bucket too. But Jimmy, yeah, he, he signed a bucket. But his name is Jimmy Buckets. Yeah, but they've been calling him Jimmy Buckets. So I'm gonna so. get a bucket, and but it's gonna be Jimmy. Jimmy Bucket. I, you feel me? And and niggas really try to argue with me, that saying this nigga Dame Lillard was a better leader than Jimmy Butler. Hey man, I hey, that episode man. out. Go check that episode out. Yeah, right, 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 right. Just I ain't drop. Keep on talking about that. You, it ain't nothing you can talk about, bro. You see, all right, all right, niggas all right. see how this man. Jim, I'm talking Devin. Niggas see how this man play. You right. see, you see Jimmy. You see what he doing. Hey, Y'all see what he doing, bro. I told the you. team on his back. They I said it first. You. They ain't put the team on his back. I said it first. Let's not forget that. All right, but now that Jimmy, here, I'm with you. Damn it, never put his team, put the team on his back in the finals game. Now, yeah, now that Jimmy here, I can see it exactly. But, bro, come on, bro, you can't do that, bro. bro Jimmy just showed. He niggas, went around and had. He bro, had opportunities this, on this, different teams. To, this, to, this, this what I'm saying. Do something. Niggas show Jimmy show niggas he can handle the. He can be a point guard. Show niggas he can get. He can get 14, 15 assists. He that's, third. That's, that's that's what he get triple. That's what Jimmy keep doing it though. Nigga, yes, he did it two games, three games in a row. No, he didn't. He didn't Jimmy, give me another double, triple. No, triple two dub. games in a row. You talking about the triple double or the or the assists? What you talking about? Can he can he perform like how he did last night on a consistent basis? We about to see we about to see tomorrow. All right then, but 
So let's wait. It was a good. It was a great performance. Bro, he had. A, but what? Bro, so what? What is niggas gonna say if he this, go out there and play a horrible game? Bro, listen here. Game two, he had a great performance, but he had like what? Twenty points, I think. Twenty five yeah. points. If he would have added fifteen more points, he would have been doing the same thing. He had. Hey, oh, you can say the same like, shit for AD. He had like you eighteen more points. Boards, how eighteen assists. How y'all feel about the Lakers uh, walking off? How y'all felt about that? So losers. They said it was already. Oh. So losers. But they still supposed to stay. Man, nigga, nigga subbed out and walked straight to the. Bro, what you call it, bro? Bro, niggas, niggas said niggas trying to cover. Niggas was like, bro, they walked off. It was one second left, seven seconds. Bro, it, it was, was like seven. Bro, Brian stayed. Brian stayed there and waited. Brian everybody stayed out and walked out. He was the first. No, one no, in. no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. No, he bro, wasn't. If you go look, Brian. I'm, the first I'm not going. Look, I seen. The, I was watching the jokes look. earlier. He was at. He was standing there while everybody was walking past, and he was waiting for the niggas, clock to run out. When niggas, niggas, when it hit zero point zero, that's when he walked. Niggas gonna have to run that back for me, yeah. but Brian body language definitely said it all. It's like, man, this shit over. Like, it was like, over. It, it most definitely was over. But I mean, hey, that's what happened when Jimmy Butler ripped the heart out of. I don't make no. I don't make no big. Deal that's about. what happened when Jimmy Butler ripped the heart out your team. I, I get it. He ain't ripped the heart out of LeBron. Bro, without had a bio or drive. The other niggas didn't step up. Neither had him too. The other niggas didn't step up, and y'all other niggas bro, did. Like <laughs> that's all it was. But you know what? His, bro, you know what? Them niggas was shooting. Tyler Hero shot six to eighteen. Okay. Duncan Robinson. Duncan Robinson shot two, two of ten. You know three just, of ten. I'm sorry. Duncan Robinson shot three of ten. Hey man, them boys. Jay Crowder shot two of eight. The only help he had was Kelly O'Lenny. Boy, dangerous, man. How the hell Jimmy Butler get fucking uh, ten assists? He shot seventy percent. Jay Crowder shot forty one percent. Miles Leonard shot a hundred percent. Eagle Dollar shot fifty percent. O'Lenny shot fifty five point six percent. Kendrick Nunn shot sixty seven percent. Everybody else shot 33 percent. Stop, stop saying percentage. Don't say what niggas scored. Cause percent sound good when you one up. Jimmy Butler forty. Two, Jay two Carter had Jay Carter had twelve and eight. Mm-hmm. Miles Leonard had seven. Duncan Robinson had thirteen. Tyler Hero had and, seventeen. And, and, and Olympic had seventeen. Don't get me wrong. A lot of them cleaned it up in the fourth quarter. Cause that I mean at the end of the yeah. game they shot seven for twelve. Dwight Howard four. Danny Green two. Kyle Kuz or Kyle Kuzma. Cobo Pope, five. Rondo, four. Caruso, Caruso eight. Yeah. J.R. Smith, three. Yeah, because... Of course, they're going to win. They, How many minutes they played? Morris wait. played 25. Caruso, 26. Rondo, wait, 27. Wait, what's your argument? That's, they I'm getting saying, locked up. No, they wasn't getting locked up. They was just off. That shit happens. Like, what the fuck? How many games they won in a row? Bro, it's not the... It's bound to happen, bro. I get what you're saying, but you can't use, like... They in the same court... Every day, it's not like they like it's a different gym. They don't go. They don't go out of the bubble. And they, they literally okay. go home, come back. All I'm the saying same is, gym. all I'm saying is, when you going on the street, bro, it's gonna be a a game where you're you're gonna lose a game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bro, and they because they, they didn't play well, bro, they weren't supposed to lose that game last night. They, won't. they wasn't supposed to. I mean, what you mean? But Jimmy Butler and what he did. But look what he had to do, bro. Mm-hmm. The nigga not gonna shoot seventy percent again. Like what? And that's seventy percent, bro. And that's forty what, points, no threes. And that's what like, I'm what? saying. The team has to play better. His team didn't play good. You wouldn't name their percentages like they. They didn't play good either. You, you wouldn't name the Heat percentages like this oh. team play good. The Heat has yet to play to their full potential this series. Bro, they didn't play good either. That's all I'm saying, bro. But their help was better than th- than their help. The Heat has yet to play to that full potential of the series, and they ain't get dubbed yet. They got three niggas that didn't even hit over five they, points. They don't, the Heat has yet to play to their full potential, and they ain't get dubbed yet. So you got them winning game four? Yes. I ain't, I'm going to say it like this. Yep. Depending on how Brian come out. Nope. It's not about Braun, bro. <laughs> game four might be. It's not about yeah. Braun. Game five, though. It's if we lose game AD, four, we got bro. five. It's about AD. Are you listening to me? Bro, they gonna if we out. lose four, we got five. Right. To be honest, no. me personally, bro, I'm going to go out on this limit. I, I got Jimmy doing it again, bro. I, I think I he can do it. I ain't going to say I think. I know Shoot, he can do so it again. I, I, know, I, got him, I got him at least Just dropping with another, I got him another 35 tonight. I mean, tomorrow night. Uh, if he do that, that, if he do that, if, nah. I got 35. If he do that, then I don't got them winning. 
Cause I feel like AD gonna step up way better than what he what he did last year. Jimmy Butler better. Bro, not he gonna know. Better closer than AD and Bron. Oh last night proved that. Last night, years of LeBron closing. Last night proved Jimmy Butler is a better closer than LeBron. This year. Hey, I just want to give Bro. a special shout out to Z Lane. He did say Kawhi was on. Jimmy Butler was on on par with Kawhi back. You know what I'm saying? Last year. Yeah, he did say that. So, hey, shout out to Z Lane. You feel me? Definitely. Um, yeah, for sure. I believe. I mean, I believe that now. I mean, I, I, I mean, I believe. I believe it then, but now I really believe it. Yeah, now I really yeah. See it. I see it now. Let me hit that jump, man. Did you see OBJ, Mr. Yeah, President? Reminded me of the Giants when they need to come back. Nah, fuck y'all, boys. My nigga said. Yeah, fuck y'all. Look, like, look like. You're lucky we ain't picked that nigga up. Look like. Odell. Bless y'all ass with him. Look like. Odell. He ain't want to go there. Look like Odell was trying to get some shit off. He didn't want to go no. <laughs> You feel me? You didn't want to go no further. Nah, place. you wow. <laughs> you wow for that point. I definitely got that point. But hey, he definitely would have came to Philly. No. Why not? No. You telling me Daniel Jones better than Carson Wentz? No. No. Carson Wentz been playing before Daniel no. Jones. He wasn't even playing with Daniel no. Jones. Is Daniel Jones better than Carson Wentz? Daniel. I'm waiting for that answer. Yes. That's Cap. Yes. Okay. Carson Wentz ain't proof shit. How I many wins y'all got this year? We don't have an old line. That don't have nothing to do with him. We don't got that one line. Y'all old line is better than ours. We don't have an old line. Y'all old line is better than ours. We don't have. We haven't line. had an old line in years, bro. And everyone knows that. That's why we've been asked. Yeah, That's why Eli gets sacked a lot. We don't have a line. Man, no, I'm done arguing with this giant man. Yeah, wrap it up. Booty ass nigga. We booty, but they booty too. Hey. See it this year. Give your computer on three percent. That don't suck. Yeah, hey, I told you that. <laughs> hey, look, man, we appreciate y'all for tapping in with us. This is the Count Dead Podcast. Mm-hmm. And we out. Count up! Hey! It's a lot of echo in this bitch. I hear that echo. Yo! Where we at with H&M Hold on, home. but before we get to the next subject, you can um, stay doing this. No, no, no my, <laughs> you can't say this before. My I bad, <laughs> my bad. I, I would just, I ain't, I ain't know if I was, you know, I would just, I'm just resetting. You feel so, me? I was in this just, so just tap me, be like, give me one moment, let me get my thoughts together or something. You feel me or something? You feel me? Don't let me was, start talking and then you come. Hold on, bro. Let, I was, come on, bro, nigga. I was really.